at last yung channel ko has been monetized in just one day I'm so so happy about it and I wanna thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today is a very 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 lucky day for me and i just want to share it with all of you and it's been a while sabi nga ni benedict again today is a very very lucky day for me because at last yung channel ko has been monetized in just one day i'm so so happy about it and i want to thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much sa lahat ng sumuporta sumusuporta and susuporta in the future so hopefully you'll support me guys and yun nga so <laughs> I just really can't say anything right now kasi I'm so happy na na-monetize na yung channel and dinikilig pa rin ako ah. Today, ikikwento ko sa inyo what happened kasi it was never easy. I applied for AdSense way back 2015 and lang po na-approve yung monetization ko. Pero yung application, it just took one day. Kung iisipin mo kasi one day, parang ang dali-dali lang. Pero yung nangyari, yung naging process ko is na-disapprove ako sa pag-join sa monetization program ni YouTube twice. Ikikwento ko sa inyo later kung anong nangyari. Para sa mga hindi po nakakaalam, yung monetization program program ng YouTube is dyan na po tayo makaka-earn. Yan po yung time na may papasok na mga advertisement sa YouTube videos nyo. Tapos dyan na po mag-generate ng revenue para sa account nyo. So, ganun lang po kasimple. Para ma-approve ka sa monetization program, uh, may dalawang requirements lang. Yung una is uh, ma-reach mo yung 1,000 subscribers. Pangalawa is ma-reach mo yung 4,000 watch hours. Para sa 1,000 subscribers, I would say na malaki yung pasasalamat ko sa pagkikipag-sub to sub ko to other YouTube page, YouTube groups na nakikipag-sub to sub. And I wanna thank everyone na nakikipag-sub to sub sa akin. When you say sub to sub, subscribe to subscribe. Bali, so subscribe nila ang YouTube channel ko and isusubscribe ko din yung YouTube channel nila. So, ganun yung nangyari. Bali, na-reach ko yung 1,000 subscribers in just 3 months sa pakikipag-sub to subs. Feeling ko naman if the purpose is to reach the 1,000 requirement ni YouTube, I guess it's helpful. Although, hindi naman talaga siya sinasuggest ng most YouTuber kasi nga, yung nakikipag-sub to subs sa inyo is not honest after mag-screenshot na nakapag-sub na sila, ina-unsub nila yung account mo. So, meron talagang iba na hindi honest and for me, you can check out my YouTube channel. Nakapublic lahat na sinubscribe ko. The purpose ng mga YouTube group kasi is para magtulungan. So, para saan pa na i-unsubscribe ko kayo, diba? Bakit ako mag-join sa group kung i-unsubscribe ko rin naman kayo? Parang, ano to? Joke ba to? Hindi ba? Kasi yung iba ganun yung ginagawa, eh. Kaya, kaya shout out po sa lahat ng mga nag-unsubscribe, no? So, shout out po sa lahat ng mga nakikipag-sub to sub. Tapos, after mag-unsubscribe lang pala. No? Hindi, kasi parang ang sama-sama naman. Pero anyway, this is a very lucky day for me. So, I don't wanna ruin it. And I'm so happy. Actually, nung in-inform ko yung mga friends ko, sabi nila, so may kita ka na, magkaroon na kita. Like, ah, ganun ba yun? Hindi naman na agad-agad magkakaroon ng income. That's the next thing that I need to work out. And the next requirement, diba, is the 4,000 watch hours. Dapat, ma-reach mo yung 4,000 watch hours in just 12 months. Meaning, within a year. Kasi ganito, ah, uh, A few moments later. So ngayon, I will give you tips para maiwasan nyo yung nangyari sa akin. Kasi nga, diba, na-disapprove ako twice. First kasi, nung August 2, nung nakita kong na-reach ko na yung mga requirements, automatic I applied. And after a week, nag-email sa akin that your channel is not approved to join the monetization program. Why? Kasi, first, meron akong reused content. Second is, meron akong copyright claim. So, yung ginawa ko, dinilit ko yung mga videos except for one video. Kasi yung isang video ko yun, 35,000 yung view and I'm sure na malaki yung contribution niya sa pag-reach ko ng 4,000 watch hours. Iniwan ko siya kasi I was hoping na baka mahalusot para at least na-reach ko pa rin yung 4,000 watch hours. And once na-disapprove ka sa monetization program, you need to wait for another one month. So, I applied for August 2 so I can reapply on September 2. So, pagdating ng September 2, pag dinilit mo yung video mo, automatic lahat ng na-generate nilang watch hour, madidilit din. Meaning, yung watch hour ko bumaba siya. So, I worked for it and nung na 
reach ko again yung 4,000 watch hours on September 15. And I reapply kasi pwede na. And after 3 days, I guess, eh, nag-email na naman siya. Not approved again. How sad. Wala akong choice. I need to remove all of my video na may copyright strike. Dinilit ko yung final video na a copyright claim. So, pwede ako mag-reapply on October 16 pa after a month again kung na-reach ko na yung 4,000 na watch hours kasi so far yung subscribers ko is increasing. So, th again, thank you. Thank you so much. I never expected naman talaga. So, thank you. Thank you so much. And pagdating na pagdating ng October 16, nung okay na yung reapplication button, I click reapply. Tapos, kinabukas Sunday. Kinilig ako sa email kasi your YouTube channel is approved for monetization. So, yun na nga. I was so happy na na-approve ako in just one day. So, bali, yun yung nangyari. One day application for YouTube AdSense. So, I suggest na if you're applying for monetization, much better. Malinis talaga yung mga videos nyo. Walang copyright strike, walang copyright claim, walang reused content. Ganon. Pero anyways, I'm still happy and I'm still thankful na na-approve yung account ko. Once again, thank you so much for watching wala masyadong kaikikan. This is just an appreciation video para sa lahat ng mga sumuporta sa akin and sumusuporta. So, thank you. Thank you so much and hope to see you in my next videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.